love it the way that he thinks as a creative. I think it's that sense of uh, urban decay. He is completely unique. I've never seen art like it before. I absolutely love the creativity behind his work. He can take any object and sort of turn it into his own piece. Just like the scale of the sculptures are absolutely incredible to me. The idea of this future relic, I love the storytelling with Arsham, combine that with the pop culture element. It's beautiful stuff, right? My name is Daniel Arsham. I am an American sculptor. I'm here at Yorkshire Sculpture Park for the opening of my exhibition, Relics in the Landscape. A lot of my work is really about understanding our positioning in time. A lot of the way that we interpret our era and past eras is through objects that were significant of that moment. And so when I'm creating a work in this series that, that I like to think of as a kind of fictional archaeology, I need a subject that places that work in a particular era of time. And so I began making these sculptures using works from antiquity mixed with contemporary subject matter. So in the garden here we have works that are as ancient as a few thousand years ago, all the way up through Pikachu, which is more recent. The effect of the erosion is the same on all of them. There's this kind of confusion of time that I think places us as viewers in a more complex relationship with our own understanding of our lives and, and how we interpret our experience of time. A number of years ago, I made a sculpture of Pikachu that was in an exhibition in Tokyo, and the president of Pokemon Company happened to see that work. They invited me to the headquarters in Japan. It was a very formal meeting, and we started discussing this idea of licensing, them allowing me to enter that universe. And it's been this kind of magical experience over the last number of years to work with them directly. We did two things. One is that I brought Pokemon into my universe, so creating works that were sculptures of all of the different Pokemon. And I also brought my work back into the animation universe through a, a short film, a short animation that I did with Pokemon Company. In effect, what Daniel is concerned about is time, is how we remember things the layers of time that hide and reveal objects, archaeological objects. And this sculpture of the astronaut, Neil Armstrong's very first steps on the moon, this is a, an event that's in our collective memories and takes us somewhere that really nothing else can. It's the experience, our experience of life, that informs us about our histories and our collective histories, the histories of our societies and of humankind. One of the incredible things about showing here is the idea that this exhibition is gonna be on for a year. So the seasonality and the changing of the trees and hopefully it will snow this winter here, getting to experience these works in that different climate and also the patination on the works will evolve over that period. So people coming back here in different seasons is gonna be something that I have not been able to do with my work before. I think it's brilliant to see them in the Yorkshire landscape. The green, it's not, it's not like a Yorkshire green, you know, it's kind of that um, Statue of Liberty-esque style, isn't it? So it feels like it's just brought that kind of a sense of America. The fact that Arsham has been able to transition from that sort of Instagram audience and bringing them, I've traveled two and a half hours to be here today, and so my friends, I think that really epitomizes to us you know, I guess the sort of power Arsham has on Instagram and the ability by friends had to take a selfie in the visor, that's been really impressive. I think every artist strives to have a style that is instantly recognisable. Daniel basically achieves that.